Hi guys, this is 3D Printing 101, the channel you can rely on for 3D printing tips, tricks and tutorials. Today we're going to be looking at VARS mode, or more specifically, what VARS mode is, why you need to use it, and how to use it. With that said and done, let's roll the intro so we can get VARSing. VARSing? Does that work? No. We'll go with it. See you then. So, what is VARS mode? Well, VARS mode is a setting in the slicing process that changes how your printer interprets your 3D model. Normally, a printer would work on a layer by layer basis, filling in the shape as it went. Enabling VARS mode makes it so the outside layer of your object is printed, and it is done with a continuous line of filament. This means that you get a much more attractive, efficient VARS without too much fiddling. At this point, you might be wondering, but well, this sounds so much better than normal 3D printing. Why don't we always print like this? Well, to put it simply, VARS mode wall thickness is small, and small wall thickness generally means snap snap for your prints. Your model also has to be completely manifold, as VARS mode uses that continuous filament stream, so it can't just stop and turn around. But for the model we're going to be using today, links in the description by the way, these limitations shouldn't matter too much since we're making, well, a vase if you hadn't guessed already. Hopefully any vase you have at home should need to be incredibly strong, right? Now the explanation's over with, we can get to the fun part. Plop in your vase model, or the one in the description. Now you'll notice fairly quickly that the vase is actually, at the moment, a solid object. I don't know about you, but that, I don't think that's how a vase should look. However, the fact that the model is a solid shape is okay, because that means using vase model will definitely function how it's supposed to. If you aren't quite following me at the moment, you'll realise what's up once we enable VARS mode. What gets a lot of Cura users What gets a lot of Cura users confused initially is, is the fact that in Cura, VARS mode is called spiralize outer contour, or in a more understandable format, only print the outside wall in a single line, as described earlier. You could search through the settings panel to find this option, but I prefer to just use the search bar. Type in spiral and it should be a case of just ticking the box. Upon slicing, you'll see that our model is now hollow. Hooray, we just saved hours of tweaking. Isn't there something so deeply satisfying about watching this layer view? So you've enabled VARS mode, but now we need to compensate for what's altered here. Most of the settings should just help you get back some of the rigidity you lose through VARS mode, and although we can never really recreate the strength of the part with solid infill, it's still worth that little extra effort to get a more solid print at the end. These settings aren't too obscure, you might recognise some of them from my basic print walkthrough video, which I'll leave in the description if I remember. Just start off by increasing the layer height and nozzle temperature. Ideally for VARS mode setups, you'll want these settings higher than normal as they'll ensure a more regular distribution of filament. A higher layer height gives your prints more strength, whilst the higher nozzle temperature creates less restriction during extrusion. I'll change these settings now. I'd say for your layer height go something like 0.3, and for your printing temperature go 20 degrees higher than you would normally. Next, you'll want to take a look at your extrusion width, or as Cura conveniently calls it, line extrusion, which you can see here. This makes your layers more chunky and creates extra strength, sort of like the layer height but on the horizontal axis. Bump this up to something sensible like 2.2mm. You can also up the wall line count so this actually has an effect. And finally, I highly suggest lowering the print speed. I've had many VARS mode prints where they've almost completed and they catch on the nozzle from rushing and detach. It's so devastating when it happens and really puts you off trying to retry your slicing, so I highly recommend taking that extra precaution. You'd think VARS mode would work at a higher speed, but it actually works best at around 25 to 40 millimeters a second, depending on your machine. Because I'm impatient and don't like to learn from previous experiences, I'm going to set it to 40. Speaking of impatience, I'm impatient to finish this video and get some of my exam revision done. So we'll finish on this foreboding VARS perspective. I hope you found this video helpful and you found what you came for. If you did enjoy it, I'd really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe for more 3D printing tutorials and other stuff. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!